today I'm going to show you how I package this industrial sewing machine for shipping. This is a beautiful Singer 112-4 single thread chain stitch machine originally designed for sewing straw braid hats. It's going to a nice lady in Tennessee and I'm excited for her to get it all in one piece. The first thing I'm going to do with this machine is remove the head from the pedestal base. Next we are going to remove the needle from the needle chuck. This machine has a fun sort of uh, nut collar style needle bar needle holder uh, similar to what you would expect to see out of an older Union Special chain stitch machine. For lack of a better solution I've placed the needle in cardboard and wrapped it up. Additionally, I'm going to package all of the wing nuts and felt and other parts that I remove from the machine as I'm packaging it. I'm going to put them in individual plastic bags. I've had good luck with these heavy duty moving boxes from Home Depot. It's unfortunate that they have these graphics on the outside, but uh, as you can see here, it is a double walled box. It's quite rigid. Um, they're only a couple bucks a piece, so I do suggest them. I don't really like the handles though. The first thing that I want to do is just place the machine in the box and make sure that it's going to fit. Looks alright to me. Take it out. Next I'm going to cut a piece of pink foam board that's the correct footprint of the box. Go ahead and place that inside. Double check and make sure that we like the way the machine fits. Now we're just going to go ahead and start adding more foam around the perimeter of the box. I always ensure that there's at least one inch of foam on all six sides in addition to the packing material inside. It strengthens the box and adds a lot of damage protection. Next I'll start adding some of this upholstery foam. Um, this is like a closed cell foam that would be used for um, indoor couch cushions or something like that. Really nice, super, super stable. This is what the machine looks like um, as I've been packing it. So I've got, like I said, the pink board on all sides. I've got the white foam. It's, it's really stable in there. Um, the foam does expand, which is nice. So, you know, you can ball it up and stuff it in between cracks and crevices and it expands to really nestle. You could even say swaddle your sewing machine. Um, now I have to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with this pedestal base. Um, I want to make sure that it's not touching the machine itself. Um, I don't want it to strike anything. Um, it's actually sort of elevated above the machine by the foam in the box under the feet. You can, you can see it there where I'm pointing. Um, but yeah, there's a good tolerance between the pedestal and the head. I'm going to stick a bunch of white foam in between them and just uh, make this whole package as deluxe as possible. I like to add more of this pink foam just for more rigidity. Um, I want to put as much pressure on all of the parts as possible without them um, being stressed, I guess. trying to get my next layer of hard foam and then uh, to seal the deal on top. So here's what this package looks like all uh, dolled up. 